Welcome to the Original Gangsters podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. We're going to uh, continue this power ranking trend this week. We're going to roll out um, another in a series that we've been doing. And today we're going to talk about the top 15 New York five family sleepers. And I'm going to I'm going to kind of tell you what I mean by that. Uh, could be guys that you maybe never heard of before, but it could also be guys that were at one point big names um, and you haven't, you know, they've been quietly in the shadows and they still got a lot of juice. You just don't hear about them. So that's kind of the, the, uh, the two sides of the page that we're going to be combining for this top 15 and as uh, as my uh, normal protocol goes, we're going to go from 15 up to one. Um, okay, let's start. Number 15, Jerry Asaro. Uh, you know, he is, uh, you know, kind of the caretaker for Queens, for the Bananos. Uh, his dad, uh, lo- you know, legendary Vinny Asaro, his cousin, Ronnie G. We'll get to him later on in the ranking. Uh, number 14, we put this uh, ranking out before this weekend, or we put the ranking together before this weekend. So this is going to be a combination of a shout out and an RIP. Uh, number 14, I had Salvatore Cambria, Sally Bread, who uh, passed from a stroke this past weekend, former acting boss of the Columbos, uh, was acting boss about 10 years ago. But um, even though he was cut down by a stroke at age 73, this past weekend, up until the very end, he was a guy that had a lot of juice. Everybody loves Sally Bread. Um, he's got to kind of have a state like funeral uh, this week, and um, he'll be, you know, remembered and uh, revered going forward. Number thirteen, a guy that at one point was dubbed a ri- rising star in the Gambinos, and then things have kind of gone quiet on him. But I think it's more like gamesmanship, where he knows to kind of pull back a little bit when the heat got too hot and doesn't mean that this guy isn't still climbing a ladder. Mike Rock of 40, um, number 14, sorry, 15, 14. I'm always messing up the numbers here. 15, 14, 13, number 12, Frankie Calypso Camuso, uh, you know, is a guy that we didn't really know about until the last couple of years um, until, you know, he got into the news as uh, being, uh, he's a Gambino Capo in charge of um, the uh, the construction rackets and is very close to Lorenzo Menino. Uh, number 11, Johnny Hollywood uh, runs uh, Little Italy for the Genovese, uh, Lombardi's, which is the oldest pizza parlor in New York City. Uh, out of all the five families that have a presence down in on Mulberry Street in Little Italy, uh, Johnny Hollywood is is probably the most um, prominent right now uh, and uh, most esteemed. So we got a tie at number 10, Sonny Giuliano, Brooklyn uh, Gambino, a guy that knows how to fly under the radar but still wield a lot of power. And then a guy that's – he's at number 10 with a bullet because we didn't really know anything about him until uh, some some court filings – um, last year, uh, Tony Fast, Anthony Fasita, who is a, a trusted couple regime of Mikey Mancuso and Bananos. And one of the reasons that Mikey got violated and had to go do a year in jail was because he was meeting with Tony Fast. Uh, brings us into our top you know, nine through one right now. Number nine, Billy Russo. He's been on a couple of these other lists, or at least one of these other lists. Uh, super underrated superpower in the Columbos and has quietly um, kept things steady and it doesn't need the fanfare of some of the other members of his family, but uh, is just, uh, you know, we say died in wool, died in wool, wise guy, uh, keeping the dynasty alive. Um, number eight, Sal Franco, uh, a Gambino guy, a, a, a skipper, you know, I, I call him a sleeper uh, in terms of not a lot of people know who he is. Uh, I'm told that uh, he's got uh, Lorenzo and, and Lenny Di Maria, the top two guys right now, or top two guys on the street 
um, day to day for the Gambinos. He, he's got their ear. He's a you know union guy, construction guy uh, from Manhattan. They call him. Some people call him uh, Franklin Street Sal, uh, Wall Street Sal. Uh, okay, so nine eight number seven, uh, Patty Boy Myerino, another guy that's close to Mikey Mancuso. Um, his dad sponsored Mancuso uh, for his button, um, Chubby Manorino, Chubbs Manorino, uh, and Patty Boy is uh, is one of his uh, is one of Mikey's uh, most trusted non Bronx guys. Uh, number six uh, from the Lucchese's, a guy that is the definition of an OG, goes all the way back to the Purple Gang, Skinny Frank Santoro. Uh, he's a capo, kind of uh, got his stripes as a captain later in life and uh, is one of the guys that's being um, leaned on by by Georgie Neck uh, in what I'm told in, in this transition between uh, DeSantis is kind of transitioning Georgie Neck into the acting boss spot. And uh, Skinny Frank, even though he's a little older, but, but very wise and uh, somebody with a lot of connections, again, goes all the way back to the uh, the Purple Gang in the New York purple gang and uh, is, is a real sleeper in that family. Okay. Top five. Some of these are guys that are just kind of, or a couple of these guys are just, you know, well-known guys that you just haven't heard of lately. One being uh, Joe Waverly with the Columbo's one of the most respected um, guys, you know, in the country LCN wise. Um, don't really think he has an admin post. I guess he could be in theory. He could be consigliere. We're not sure. With, with with Ralph, well, I guess Ralphie's coming out. I don't know. Well, Ralphie, it, it, believe me, Joe Waverly's got a lot of weight still, whether or not he's got a post or not. Um, number four, Anthony Palumbo, Tony D is a is a real silent assassin, if you will. I don't mean literally an assassin, but a real kind of a silent, uh, you know, a ninja samurai type player in, in the West Side, uh, Staten Island, Jersey knows how to you know keep all the you know all the, the logs in the fire but stay far enough away from those logs not to, to get any smoke inhalation um like some of the other more high profile Genovese shot callers brings us to our top three number three Ronnie G um Ronnie G Alonzo finishing up a prison sentence he should be home in a couple of years there's a lot of talk that he will one day be boss and that's I want to be clear. That doesn't mean that he's looking to take out Mikey Mancuso. He's very cool uh, with the Mancuso regime, but there's a lot of people that think when 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 Mikey maybe hangs up the reins in a decade, a uh, decade and a half, that Ronnie G will be the one that gets the nod. He's looked at as boss material and is uh, the most uh, right now, uh, even in prison, holds the most weight uh, with the Bananos in Queens, uh, Howard Beach. Number two, Ali Shades. You know, the guys, Malinani, Alphonse Malinani, Ali Shades. Guy goes back decades. He's in his late 80s. He's, I guess he's in a some type of a wheelchair or a walker, but he's still, you know, mentally he's sharp as a tack. And, I, you know, I, I've been, I like to kind of use the term, the man behind the man behind the man. Now, Barney's still the, the boss of bosses there, but if Barney needs, you know, other than Ernie, uh, who's his underboss, um, or Pat or Patsy, who's his consigliere, you know, uh, Ali Shades has just as much weight as any of those other guys, um, even though he's not admin and and really can shape policy and, and shape opinion with his opinion to, to Barney and Ernie. Um, and then number one, you know, this is a guy that I don't know, I think he's kind of defines the term sleeper that not a lot of people know about, but this is the you know this is the muscle this is the bark uh, or I should say this is the bite behind a lot of the Gambino's bark and that's Ernie Grillo, um, Mickey Boy's um, Mickey Boy Paradiso former consigliere or current consigliere we're not sure uh, he is um, but he's mentored Ernie and and Ernie is a guy that can go anywhere in, in the five boroughs and uh, people are going to show him. Uh, a lot of difference, deference, and a lot of respect because um, he, he's one of those guys that checks all the boxes. Um, loved, feared, respected. 
So that's my top 15 sleepers in New York LCN in the fall of 2024. Please like, subscribe, share, check out the Patreon where we do some more kind of in-depth analysis, uh, not always strict LCN stuff. Um, where we got stuff up there every week. And then uh, keep checking back here and at uh, our, our uh, companion web magazine, Gangster Report, where we're uncovering the underworld second by second all across North America. Scott Bernstein, OG Pot out.